Good morning, and welcome to K-12 Next Generation's lesson on how to make a chip trading board. We use a chip trading board for our math lessons, and to make one, we are going to need two pieces of sturdy uh, paper. This paper I use in the printer, but it's, it's a heavier paper than the regular printing paper is, which is pretty light. That's the difference because it makes uh, our project last longer. We're going to want a ruler and some colored pencils. We want a yellow, a blue, a red, and a green, a magic marker, and some tape. Okay. And to start with, we're going to want to take and Fold our pa one piece of the paper in half the long ways because we want to be able to make our columns. So we fold our paper in half and then we take one of the pencils and very lightly we're going to just draw down the line. I fold this over, it helps me better see where that line is and I just draw lightly down and I also want to mark down here two inches because I'm going to need to have a top heading so I just mark lightly two inches here and I also do a mark at the one inch that's so that when I actually write the place values that they're sort of in some kind of line instead of all over the place, which is what I would do without this line. Okay, so I have two lines, two inches and one inch, and I'm going to connect the lines. And again, it's a very light line. I don't want it to be really dark. And at the one inch. So now that I sort of have my lines here, I do want the line in the middle to be dark. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to make the line dark with the magic marker. And then I'm going to go to the two inch mark and I'm going to um, make that line dark as well. Okay, and this is what it looks like right now. <clears throat> now, we're going to be doing a board that's going to have four place values, and right now we have two. So, I need to take another piece of the stiff paper and add it to this piece. And when I do that, I don't want to overlap. Because if I overlap, I'm already making one of the columns small. So I'm going to try and uh, line this really closely up with up with each other so that they're just meeting. And sometimes it's easier if you have another hand. But right now you can see that this is pretty well just up against each other flush. And I'm going to take my tape. I always uh, put an end on my tape so that I don't lose it, uh, which I did in any case. And it's a clear tape that I'm using. And I'm going to just start here at the beginning and tape these two pieces together. Again, remembering that I don't want the two pieces of paper to overlap. And if I end up having a little bit of a gap, that's OK, because I won't see it when I finish. And now I have 
my two pieces, and you really can't see that line or any gap there. And it folds nicely into a folder kind of thing like this. So when you're not using it, then you can just fold it up and put it in your notebook or in your desk without it getting all ruined. Okay. Now I'm going to have to take this piece that I just put on and fold it in half. Again, because I need to make two columns out of this piece of paper instead of one. So I'm going to take and fold it like that. And then I'm going to take my um, ruler and actually draw a line here where the two pieces of paper meet. Okay. So now I have one, two columns. And I'm going to take and draw a line where I just made this fold. backwards a little bit. I should have just turned the paper around a little bit off. There we go. Okay. And now I need to have my column up here and I'm going to just measure over here um, and put a little dot at two inches. Just have a, uh, just have a little dot there because I'm going to be, really use this line here. as my main line. Okay. And there we go. And now I have my four columns. Now the board that we're going to we're going to be banking is on um, our place value board. And when we have our place value we start on our right and we go across to our left, which is opposite of what we do with when we read. When we're figuring out numbers, we go from right to left. And the first column in the right is the ones, O, N, E, S. And we can have no chips in here, or we can have up to nine chips. And the color of these chips is yellow, so I'm going to put a Y there so that I remember. So we have our um, ones column, and we have zero to nine chips, and those chips are yellow. Our next place value is our tens place. So we're going to write T E N S, and for the tens, um, those chips are blue. And one blue chip is equal to 10 yellow chips. So we have our tens now column. Those chips are blue. And we write down that one blue chip is equal to 10 yellow chips. Our third place value is the hundreds, H U N D R E D S. The uh, color for the chips in the hundreds is um, red. And for our hundreds place, we know that. One red chip is equal to 10 
blue chips or 100 yellow chips. So our hundreds table means that we have one red chip or 10 blue chips or 100 yellow chips. That's what a, blue uh, a red chip would represent. And our last place value is thousands, P H O U S A N D, thousands, yes. And those chips are green. And we know that one green is equal to 10 red which is equal to 100 blue, which is equal to 1,000 yellow. Okay, so now we have labeled our place value, and we've reminded ourselves what color the chip is, and what that place value means. So now it's time to take our crayons or pencils and just color these in so that we remember because besides looking at the numbers, it's nice to just uh, remember through the coloring. And I'm not going to color the whole piece right now. I'm just going to start and then I'll finish that later while you're finishing your board up. And then we can look at them and share them in our next lesson. Okay, so we started the yellow. And I'm going to start the blue here. Okay. I've started the blue. And I'll do a little bit of the red. And last, I will do a little bit of the green. And when we meet next time for our next math lesson, my board will be all finished, and I hope yours will be also. So today we learned just how to make a chip trading board that we're going to use in math class to learn what numbers are and how we add, subtract, multiply, and divide with the numbers by being able to use some chips to show what those numbers mean. I'll see you next lesson. Enjoy making your board.